being a treater of stroke for these past few years, I recognize that it's something that we do not have to suffer from. It's people tend not to recognize that our own actions sometimes contribute to our developing stroke and heart disease. And I would love to be able to see our society transition to where we're not eating foods that aren't good for us just because we don't recognize that they're not good for us or not exercising because we just don't see the benefits from it. But to really change our whole mindset and really change our lifestyles to one that really helps us live healthier, longer lives. We do a great job of treating it, but I think the bigger problem is just our public awareness that we don't know that these things hurt us or we're just not motivated enough yet to change our lifestyles. And so I would love to see that happen. The public awareness campaigns that go on, like the Power 10 Stroke and some of the other ones that go out to the community, help to raise awareness. So in a condition like stroke, where years ago people didn't even know what the symptoms or signs were, now are asking questions in clinic or going to the hospital sooner. So those things really help in regards to that. So those efforts are very helpful. Um, the, the stroke protocols that uh, AHA and ASA have developed have been critically important for uh, helping us to deliver cutting-edge care in the frontier state of Wyoming, and uh, we were able to use that platform to really put together a model program that I'm very, very proud of in Casper. Yeah, so Wyoming, as you know, is a, is a very uh, sparsely populated state with only 500,000 people in, a, in, a very, in one of the largest states in the country. Um, uh, we have the same medical problems as people do in any other part of the country, but we don't have the same access to uh, specialty healthcare services that, that you might find in the city. Um, that being said, um, we face unique challenges in terms of delivering that quality of, quality of care that uh, every, every citizen in the country deserves. Um, AHA and ASA have been critically important to us for provide, in, in terms of providing platforms for getting the message out about what quality care can be in terms of uh, stroke prevention, stroke treatment, heart attack, and so forth. Um, but the, the real issues are getting that uh, information to the populace and then delivering that health care in, in the emergency rooms and in the doctor's offices. Um, we have protocols in place, but they many of these protocols were designed um, with uh, big city hospitals in mind, with uh, ready access to all the services that are always available. Not the case at many Wyoming hospitals. So while at Wyoming Medical Center we have everything that we need to run a, a very um, cutting edge stroke program, many of our sister facilities across the state are not so, not so fortunate. Um, so we have been looking uh, and working hard to find ways to deliver that healthcare across the state uh, at the moment that it's needed. As you know, stroke and heart attack are very time critical diseases.